Hello everyone, I'm Vinita Agarwal from Indore, India. It gives me the greatest pleasure to accept the Provers International Prize 2021 for a book length collection of poems. I'm deeply grateful to the entire team at Provers for this honor and recognition of my work. Thank you, I'm overwhelmed by this. And I want to thank all of you for creating a space where something like this could happen, which is hugely validating and reaffirming for my poetry. All my life, I've been really close to my parents. They've both passed away now, and it's been years of living with their absence. But really, in so many ways, they're still with me, especially when I need their strength and support. They're a constant source of inspiration. So I want to accept this award for their intuitive wisdom, their sense of justice, their courage, and for their combined identity that lives on inside me. They taught me the values of respect, sincerity, and humility. And those qualities have seeped into the fullness of who I am my relationship with the earth and to every plant and animal that inhabits it. I'd also like to take this opportunity to thank my beautiful family, my husband of 32 years, Dinesh, my beloved son, Apoor, and my much loved daughter-in-law, Heta. Above all, I'd like to thank my readers, folks who read and resonate with my work, People who read my poetry and take a minute from their busy lives to drop a line of appreciation and even those who don't. Thanks are due also to my friends and colleagues who've proved pivotal in my journey as a poet. Thank you all for what you've taught me, for your untiring support of my work and of me as a person. I'd like to particularly thank Ruth Padel and Ranjit Hoskote, both of who read the manuscript of Twilight Language and spared time to write their thoughts about the book in advance of its publication. Thank you. I'd like to take this opportunity to introduce my collection Twilight Language to you all. Twilight Language is a book length collection of poems. It derives its name from the polysemic language and communication system of ancient India. Literally speaking, it is crepuscular, looking at dimness. In my book, language looks at the gloom of the pandemic era, the twilight faced by planet Earth in the face of the raging climate crisis, and the regular existential questions that we all seem to grapple with on a daily basis. Concepts are used as inducers of poems. They evoke perceptions in the same way that sensory experiences do. My book is a conduit of hope and a better tomorrow. A visage of my experiences in this vast universe that we all inhabit. A collection of poems that sincerely wish to make, wish to make their way to you, the reader. I'd also like to bring in here the fact that we all have a unique connection with nature. Speaking for myself, since childhood, I was drawn to sand and the mica that shone in its grains, to trees and the sense of calm they imparted, to mountains and the deep silence they nurtured, to stones and the fascinating patterns embedded in them, to birds, their melodious singing at dawn, and to the companionship of animals, I seemed to draw energy from nature. Through my book, I hope each of you will recognize your own distinct connection with the earth and establish a practice of deep listening to nature. Last but not least, I'd like to say, I'd like to say here that as poets, we're constantly searching for answers to the questions swirling around us. Even if we don't find the answers, we're compelled to at least write about things with honesty and gumption in the hope 
of having addressed them somehow. Because poetry as an art is in the end looking for what is lost. In my book too, the poems address the worldwide disorientation of the past couple of years in multiple ways. And I sincerely hope that you as a reader will find solace from my poems and courage from my words. I sincerely hope that my collection will address at least partially your concerns with the issues plaguing our times. I'd like to end with this humble but earnest message, but not before I express my gratitude once again to Provers, not before I reiterate how special the prize makes me feel and how much it means to me. Thank you.